Hey everyone, this is Tan with an amazing new update that we introduced, which is uh, very cool and very uh, anticipated from you. It is the gradients. Now you can apply gradient colors to many different things. So let me show you how easy it is. Uh, let's see that this button, for example, we can click into the styling settings of the button, and now you have this option at gradients. So when you click on it, it applies the gradient right away. It takes your primary and uh, your secondary color from the color panel that you have in the styling. Uh, in the global styling and you can of course modify all that these are the primary and the secondary colors of course you can modify them to whatever colors you wish to create a gradient of your likes uh, you can also choose the type of gradient from linear or radio of course the radio is with a circle type of, of gradient or linear from uh, from side to side of course you can adjust the angle as well in which you'll be seeing the gradient so you can play around and create the gradient that you want by default it starts at 27 degrees looks pretty cool and yeah well i just leave it as it is this is the theme of the of the side and to what else you can apply the gradient for you can do it for your blocks and columns as well so when you go to your block you can apply it for first of all you can add it for general background so if you remove the image you'll be able to add a gradient for the whole thing or you can add it to the overlay so if you click on the gradient here when you have an overlay you can click on it and the overlay will be applied as you can see if you just have a solid color it will look like this in this case this is an overlay so we want to have some transparency so if you go to the gradient settings and start to modify your colors you can adjust the opacity at the moment it was started with 100 percent so we can reduce it to like 80 and you'll see that the image starts to show behind this is for the overlay of course uh, so this is a good way to do it and as you can see now we have the gradient of an overlay on top of the image and you can see the image uh, getting by uh, the overlay that we've added so this is it this is how simple it is to do gradients of course we can do it for this uh, this one as well so let's not do it with an overlay but let's do it with a normal gradient and as you can see it is applied right away to this uh, column so yeah, these are the things that you can apply gradients for basically. Uh, you can do it for any type of buttons, in forms, in checkouts, in, in whatever you wish, for the blocks and for the column background colors. We didn't add it for the text because that would be too weird and I don't think it's going to be used all that much and it's a bit tricky to do it for a text. I think that's perfect and amazing way to do. Really more fun, especially with the combination of um, different shape dividers that we've also added for the blocks so yeah this is the gradients i hope that you enjoyed it and uh, yeah let us know what you think in the comments below and i hope that we you really enjoyed this uh, this small and very exciting update thank you